Chris, it, it feels like you've been here ages already because you're a familiar face, but welcome back to the club. What does it feel like to be back here? Um, yeah, I mean, it was just the other day that I realised that I've been here five weeks already um, and it's flown by uh, just with the amount of games and the busyness and stuff, but it feels like coming home, to be honest. Um, yeah. When, when the opportunity came up, was it something you had to, to think long and hard about or was it like, right, this is the right thing to do? It's a funny one. Um, I was... Uh, I'd, I'd kept in touch with a few of the lads. Um, I was actually talking to Dicko, Josh Dixon. Um, I think it was on the Friday. And we, we were just talking about stuff because he'd come down to Blackburn to do a bit of testing. Um, and I, I just mentioned it about, oh, Ross will be there f- like forever, kind of thing, a bit like Dolly. And he said, like, would you come back? And I said, well, I'd consider it, yeah, but it's not going to happen. Um, and then it was on the Monday and he, he messaged me and said, have you seen what's just come out? So it's one of those where I had to speak to the to the wife and say, "What are we doing here then?" Um, because we were pretty settled down down in Lancashire, um, but then it's one of those where it, it's a job that I always wanted. Um, so yeah, um, it was a it wasn't an instant thing, but it, once I'd got her on side, it was a a little bit easier. Yeah. Is it fair to say then that we're just sort of reading between the lines there, looking back to when you were here, you, maybe the Blackburn opportunity came up under 23s, whatever yeah, it was, yeah. and you're thinking, do you know what, I've got to do that because this place is sorted. Yeah, I think so. Um, when when Dolly left, which I was as surprised as anyone about, um, I put my name in for it, but having spoken to the club, it was it, I agree, it was a little bit too soon. Um, so I worked with Ross for a year. And then... Um, it was one of those where, right, do I move on and, and or, or do I stay put? And I was just thinking, right, let's just move on and see what happens. And, and it worked out really well because I got the 23 job at Blackburn. And then within, I'm saying probably within less than three months, I was with the first team. And that was just an unbelievable experience. Um, but yeah, it's in the back of my head of going, that, that job, I, I thought time to time, um, is it going to come up? And, 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 and am I ever going to get it? Because it was one of those where I thought, right, it's the job that I want because I've been here before supported the club for a long time um my family's here it's one of those where it's like it feels like it's my club so it was just a is it going to come up and then it came up and it was like right we've got a massive decision to make here because we've got to move our lives back up um so yeah um it was the right time to leave but then also i think it's the right time to come back as well and to back that up i mean i have to say having seen your list of calls your qualifications have got qualifications so in terms of that you're more than ready to take this role on yeah and i, th- I think just like i said then that the opportunity and the experience that i got with blackburn especially with the first team is just i've learned so much i worked with some unbelievable physios um and they taught me so much and it even though i wasn't gone for ages i learned so much in that time so um i'm still doing my masters so i've still got that kind of stuff ticking away in the background but um, the experience more than anything in just how to deal with this, that and the other the little intricacies of the job um, learned from a great head physio there I've obviously worked with Dolly for a long time worked with Ross for a year so I've got some good kind of background on what a head physio should do and how they run things and I've kind of just been able to merge all, everything that I've seen and try and make it my own position Yeah, You've got quite a few occasions here Chris when you were the first team physio whether it was Dolly away having an operation or busy on course or whatever yeah, so yeah. you did it that must have really given you the appetite to do it properly full time Yeah definitely um, at the time it was like let's just enjoy the experience because it was a step up from the youth team um, but then putting that together with the experiences of, of working the championship running on with the head physio in, in the championship um, kind of doing all that stuff yeah, it was one of those where it was you get a taste of it and you want you want more. Yeah. Let's not dis- disregard. You worked through the academy age groups. You worked here with the under 18s. You learned a lot there. That's that's in terms of an apprenticeship. That's not bad. Yeah, and I think that's the thing. You've got to you've got to put the hard yards in. Um, you've got to volunteer. I worked with Penrith, just getting that experience. Really raw, really young, but just getting the experience. Worked with the academy teams and then worked with the youth team for four years. And then it's an apprenticeship, that's what it is. You do your uni work and that gives you the, the knowledge, but you've got to apply it and you can't apply it until you've experienced working with the players, working with different injuries. Again, expanding on that, because it's a great point, it's not just about treatment, is it? It's about character, it's about getting people to trust you, it's about players buying into what you bring to the first team setup. Yeah, I think the actual knowledge and, and, and understanding of how a, how a muscle heals or what, what exercises you need to do you pick bits and pieces up in the gym and stuff, but the the actual I would say seventy percent plus of the job is actually the soft skills. It's the it's the people skills. Can you get people on side? If especially when you come into a, a new group of lads, obviously I knew some of them here, but the ones that I didn't know have been top class with me. 
Um, you've got to earn the trust. Or th- th- there's still that thing in football of if they don't trust you, it, it affects the way that they are around you, what, what they're going to ask for. Um, so, yeah, the, the trust is a massive thing, and that only comes from building relationships. And thankfully, I stayed in touch with quite a few of the lads anyway. Um, so it's just a case of building on that. Um, I know some of them really well. This is um, I, I worked with Dick on his first ACL, and obviously he's had horrendous luck. But we get on really well. We're quite close because of that experience. So things like that have just made it so much smoother coming back in. And then it's just a case of building on it with the, with the staff that I didn't know and with the players that, that I didn't know. But it's gone so smoothly so far, and I couldn't have wished for a better start, to be honest. Do you find that you are that type of medical operative? You are the first line mental health sometimes looking after them psychologically, particularly the lads. Bren, I can only imagine. Josh Dixon, I can only imagine yeah. what these boys are going through. Yeah, and I think especially this season, um, be, being away at Blackburn, I kept an eye on, on the results. I kept an eye on um, what was going on, and, and I could see all these injuries, and I was feeling for Ross. I was thinking, wow, he, he, he's under the pump there. He's got so much going on. And I was hoping that it would, I'd come in and it settled down, and obviously we're, we're starting to pick up a few different things again now. We've had... We've had Taylor, which was a big one. We've had an operation. We've had Toby just last week, which we're still waiting to find out what's going on. Um, and and they all just seem to be really long-term injuries, and that is so tough. It's tough for me because I've got to kind of work out how I'm going to look after them and, and what rehab and, and sort out surgeries and appointments and this, that, and the other. But it's more just a feel for them because I've seen it enough that I know what a drain that is mentally on them. Um, and we've we've got a group of injured lads in there now um, that, to be honest, they they could be just feeling sorry for themselves. There's a lot of them that have still got a long way to go in the rehab. Like you say, Bren, he's only really halfway through his ACL rehab. It's a long process. Um, Edmo's still just working back. Taylor's doing really well, but still at the start of his journey. Toby's potentially at the start of a long-term thing. Uh, Dicko is at the end of it, but he's had a horrendous three years. It, morale is a massive thing. Um, and actually, they're a great group. And that, I mean, Taylor Charles is telling some of the worst jokes I've ever heard. But it keeps the morale up, and I don't mind it. We're doing quizzes, we're doing riddles, we're doing all sorts of stuff. And and that's what I want the physio room to be—a place where instead of kind of being a real downer and, and a real difficult place to to be day in day out when you're in those tough months, it's a place where actually everyone's picking each other up, a bit of banter flying about, but just some horrendous jokes, some riddles, hearing Jack Ellis trying to work out certain things is f- frightening to be honest, but that that's what it's about, so yeah. I mean, I hope I'm not revealing too much here, but somehow offline before we did the press bit about you being appointed, he said that this just fits, that we've got somebody coming in who just fits the club. What's it like to hear that and is he right? Is that something that you feel yourself? I think it's encouraging because it's, like I say, when the job came up and I'm thinking, should I, shouldn't I? Um, it's in the back of your mind going, is it the right fit? Um, I'm still fairly young in my career, so going, is it the right fit to be ahead at this stage? Um, am I, will I settle back into the club? Because it, it's daunting going into a changing room, even though you know some of the lads, where well, you don't know them. It's It can be a bit daunting and, and you've got to earn the respect and there's so many different factors, but it, it feels like it... Like it I like I belong here. It feels right, and I, and I've I've thought it over the last few weeks walking around the club, just being in. It feels right. I said it to my wife the other day. I said, "We made the right decision." Although there's lots of logistics from a family point of view, from a job point of view, is is the right thing. And obviously there's ups and downs throughout the season, but just straight off the bat in these first few weeks, it's it feels like it's the right thing. Touched on it earlier. You did follow the results. That's probably an understatement, Chris. You're a fan. Um, to to be. I, it, I don't want this to sound the wrong way, but working in such a key role when you're a fan of the club, I mean, just wow. Yeah, I was a season ticket holder when I was younger. Um, my brother has started coming to the games again, um, and obviously part of it is because he wants to see me run on, but he, he supports the club. My older brother, out in Australia, supports the club. All my friends support the club. And I think that's a big thing when you you feel that connection. Um, you naturally want to you want the club that you're working for to do really well. You end up supporting them. I now support Blackburn. Um partly because of work there and I want, I want them to do well and the lads are great there but when you've got that affinity to the club and you've supported them um, it's obviously different when you're working behind the scenes but it, it, it does help um, and it's a, it's a big thing because then you, you're always pulling for the team on a Saturday but it just gives it that extra thing This calm approach of yours again you've just done it you've sort of glossed over there was a few logistics for the family for the move wow 
-hmm. So you're a few days into the new job and there's twins are born and you've still got to move house. Unbelievable. Yeah, it's been a bit of a whirlwind to be honest. It's been it's been chaotic at, uh, to put it to put it nicely here in the club because we've had I've had to get to grips with all the different injuries and where they're at in the rehab and then f f learning new faces and getting to know the other lads that I didn't know, getting to know how the gaffer works and 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 stuff like that. But then outside of here, it's just been a million miles an hour. Yeah, we had we had twins um, start of January, which was just it was brilliant. But it's also obviously you're not sleeping. Um, my wife's been unbelievable with that um, in just taking the brunt of that, but it, it takes its toll. We've got a two-year-old who, thankfully, my parents up here have looked after her and she's loved that, but it's my head is in so many different places right now. Um, we've still got to sell our house down there, find somewhere to live up here, so it's, everything is going on at one time, but because the transition to being in this job and knowing the lads and getting on with the rest of the lads, getting on with the staff, the way the gaff has been with me um, has just made it so much easier. And just finally from me, again, what much, must make it much easier is the way that things are going on the pitch. Does that help in terms of players recovering as well? It helps massively. It just helps in every aspect of the club. Training is so much better. Um, the lads in the gym, um, so much better. Everything is just, everyone's buzzing. The whole feel around the club um, is obviously just... It's it's different to what I've ever known in the since I've been working in, in the club over the last few years. Um, there's just a buzz, and that obviously just translates to everything behind the scenes. I was talking to a couple of the lads before, and they were saying how just the environment when you're winning and when you're just winning every week, it just changes everything. So yeah, it makes it makes it easier. Um, it, it's obviously still tough for the lads who aren't involved because they're injured. But then also, because they're buzzing for the lads that are playing, it makes it easier again. So everything across the board just becomes a lot easier, just a bit lighter when, when you're winning, when you're playing well, when you're picking up results. And obviously, long may it continue. Chris, absolutely fascinating. Thank you for your time.